last night, I started, uh, I don't know, maybe I was reading about Quentin Tarantino, and I got into fucking uh, Inglorious Bastards, and I don't know if this is true or not, but evidently after the fucking war, right, and the world saw what the fucking Nazis did, they were like, well, someone's got to pay for this, they had the Nuremberg Trials, and all they did was they basically, I don't know, it said amounted to about 24 individuals got punished. Some got life imprisonment, some got put to death or whatever. And they say it takes more than 24 people to kill 6 million, obviously, right? So basically the amount of the fucking headache it was to bring these guys to trial and go through all the bullshit and put together the cases, they just said that that's it. It's too fucking big. There's too many goddamn people. We're also carving up the country and we need these cunts to work for us. So the allies kind of washed their hands of it. At which point, um, some hardcore fucking Jewish people, the, uh, what's, what's that Matt Damon character near? He comes out with it every once in a while. He had the gun and the fucking lady was like, get the gun out of the poster because that's what makes people use guns. Jason Bourne. That was one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in my life. Get that gun off of that movie poster. Yeah, that'll solve the problem. That's what it was. <laughs> I remember when Star Wars came out and all these little kids went out and got fucking lightsabers and all that shit. I mean, good for that person for really taking the time to really address the issue and not make it about themselves. Um, all right, plowing ahead here. So this group of uh, Jason Bourne Jewish people got together and they're like, you know what? I don't think I'm satisfied with 24 of these Nazi cunts going down. And then allegedly... They were like this fucking hit squad going around the fucking world, just fu- tracking these fucking people down and uh, having kangaroo court trials and fucking executing them. Um, I don't know if this shit is true. It was such an amazing fucking story that I can't believe that if it was actually true, why this wouldn't have seen the light of day. These guys actually went to the point. One person they said they showed up to, he killed over 100,000 fucking people and they gave him a a rope. All right. And they let him do, they said, and let him do the decent, this is, was it Elkins describes how, for example, I'm going to fuck all these words up. The Nope Mim tracked down to suburban Winnipeg, Canada, one Alexander Lack, responsible for the deaths of 100,000 Jews at the Estonian concentration camp. They waited for Lack's wife to leave on a cinema trip. You mean go to the movies? Then confronted him with the crimes and their intended punishment and let him do the decent thing and take his own life with a rope. What the? F- and what did they stage it like he was jerking off? I got to look this guy up. They at one point were going to try to poison the fucking water and just indiscriminately kill a bunch of fucking German people the same way that they had killed a bunch of Jewish people. Um, I want to know why, why there hasn't been a bunch of shit talking about this, if this actually happened. Let me look this guy. What the fuck's his name again? Alexander Lack? Alexander Lack. Let's look this guy up. Let's see if his wife went to go visit the cinema and he took his own life with the fucking... No, but then they said that they all did it and they kept their mouth shuts about it. So then how the fuck would I know about it? But then again, somebody took the time to type it. So, like, doesn't that mean it happened? All right, here we go. All right, Jesus. These guys all look fucking evil. Uh, Concentration camp commander. He's got a Wikipedia page. Was a lieutenant and the commander of the German occupation of Estonia. The estimates for number of Jews killed is widely varied. Uh, the Soviet investigators reached the conclusion that two to 3,000 were killed, but God knows they didn't like Jews, so that's probably at a zero to all of that, at least. Uh, but the number 5,000, as determined by Extraordinary State Commission 1944, was written into verdict. In modern sources, the number is 10,000. Some commentators have also given figures ranging from 100,000 to 125,000 to 300,000. However, such figures contradict the findings in Estonia, blah, 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 blah. Alexander Lack was also known to have arranged drunken orgies with inmates. Oh, Jesus. He, 
emigrated to Canada after World War II in 1948. In 1960, he was implicated in the Holocaust trials in Soviet Estonia and exposed as living and a naturalized Canadian citizen under the name Alex Lack in Winnipeg, Canada. Okay. Thereafter, after reading of arrests of Jan Vick, Ralph Gerest for mass killing of mostly Jewish people, while under Nazi occupation and being himself identified as a mass murderer, he apparently committed suicide by hanging himself in the garage of his home at 53. Ah. Israeli journalists claimed that Lack was in fact confronted one day after his wife had left their house to go to the movies. All right, so this indiscriminate website that I have no idea if it's true or not lines up with his Wikipedia page. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say this is true. <laughs> and I want to, is there a book I can read on this? Who doesn't like a good vengeance story? That's amazing. And just coming up on these fucking creeps. They had to have known when you do some shit like that, you got, every night when you got to be looking at down the driveway, even if you're in the middle of fucking Winnipeg. But if ever you would ever feel safe, you'd think, Winnipeg, I got to go fucking, who the fuck's going to go to Winnipeg? You know, Thunder Bay, Yellow Knife. Jesus fucking Christ. Man, that's got to be a rough one. Like, let's say he did that. Let's just say he killed two to 3,000 people and forced them to have orgies. When you're taking your own life, you got to be thinking, like, please, God, don't let there be evil. If you said God, you'd believe in it. I'd be like, please don't let there be an afterlife. Because <laughs> I am going, I'm going to the basement there.